फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डेमोस्ट्रेट टू यू हाउ डू वी परफॉर्म द बायोफिजिकल प्रोफाइल स्कोर मेजरमेंट और द मैनिंग स्कोर मेजरमेंट ड्यूरिंग द अल्ट्रासाउंड एग्जामिनेशन एज यू ऑल नो दैट द मैनिंग स्कोर इज बेसिकली रिक्वायर्ड बाय द गायनेकोलॉजिस्ट एंड ऑब्स्ट्रेक्शन ड्यूरिंग द टर्म फेज ऑफ द प्रेगनेंसी एंड दे बेसिकली वांट टू नो विदर द मैनिंग स्कोर इज लेस Uh, so that they can take up the patient for the emergency cesarean section uh, the concept behind the manning score or the biophysical profile at the term, at the term is that uh, the fetus is having uh, acidosis and lying still and these patients in case the manning score manning uh, manning score is less than 6 they require emergency cesarean section uh, because uh, it predicts that these uh, so fetus is uh, lying still is not moving much and is having acidosis and this though it is a crude score may not uh, detect the all cases of uh, uh, all cases of uh, fetal acidosis uh, or and it may miss also many cases but at times it is required and we we should know how do we proceed and this in this in this clip we see that uh, this is a fetal respiration you can see that this is a fetal respiration you you see that this is the heart moving this is the heart moving and this respiration is different from the fetal respiration from the heart movement you should be able to differentiate the fetal movement uh, from the uh, heart movement and uh, if the fetal movements are uh, fetal breathing movements uh, one episode of more than 20 seconds is seen in 30 minutes that is the uh, fetal uh, respiration is to be uh, the episode of fetal respiration has to be for continuously for 20 second over a uh, period of observation about 30 minutes and then the baby is given a score of 2 in case it is less than uh, 20 seconds or fetal movements are not seen over 30 minutes period of observation then the score is given as 0 uh, this is also the also the clip this showing which is uh, the the heart shows the movement of the heart the body movement and the again the fetal respiration you can see the baby respiring at times you can see the like are coming out of the baby's mouth in the at least especially in the profile uh, but usually it is not seen the fetal respiration is generally recorded and seen at the level of uh, fetal diaphragm uh, where the heart and the um, heart and the abdominal abdominal movement are seen and uh, if you want to know how do we differentiate the fetal uh, cardiac movement from the respiratory movement and and the overall the mother respiratory movement you can see our, our next video second is the uh, increase in the respiratory increase in the fetal heart rate over a period of uh, 30 minutes there should be two episodes of fetal heart acceleration uh, fetal heart acceleration with movement and the fetal heart should accelerate by uh, fetal heart should accelerate by 15 beats per minute here the fetal heart rate is around 140 beats per minute and when the fetus moves uh, you should try to record the fetal movement at that time and uh, the fetal movement uh, with the fetal movement the fetal heart should accelerate by 15 beats per uh, uh, minute and the the fetal heart acceleration should be sustained for about 15 seconds in case this is happening we give a score of 2 Uh, to the fetus and in case it is not happening we give a score of 0 to the patient so that uh, you may now you see that uh, the uh, score in, in the manning's uh, calculation is either 2 or it is 0 so the total manning score can never be uh, can never be um, uh, total manning score can never be odd figure it has to be always the uh, even figure if the manning score is less than 6 or 6 then it calls for the urgent cesarean section and uh, if the fetus uh, the manning score is more than 6 uh, or the 8 or 10 then gynecologist and the patient can be comfortable and this is the clip which shows the uh, with this we just saw this is the clip which shows the movement of the fetal limbs uh, you i just show you the middle uh, the fetal limbs again the movement of the fetal limbs you see that uh, fetal limb movement is to be seen this is the fetal limb movement you can see that the fetal limbs are moving and the fetus this is the you see that this is the fetal limb movement you can see the spontaneous fetal limb movement and the spontaneous fetal limb movements they uh, they cause for uh, a score of 2 uh, in case the fetal limb movements are seen then it is a score of 2
डिस्क्रीट टू डिस्क्रीट बॉडी और लिम मूवमेंट्स इन थर्टी मिनट्स टू एपिसोड्स ऑफ डिस्क्रीट फीटल लिम मूवमेंट्स और डी बॉडी मूवमेंट दे कॉल फॉर ए स्कोर ऑफ टू और अदरवाइज दे कॉल फॉर ए यू सी दैट द फीटल लिम इज मूविंग हीयर दिस इज द फीटल्स आर अबाउन थर्टी टू वीक्स ऑफ थर्टी टू वीक्स ऑफ जस्टेशन एंड इन इन पेशेंट्स विद अबाउट थर्टी एट वीक्स थर्टी सेवन वीक्स वैन दी when the manning score is generally required fetal movements might be difficult to visualize and a continuous uh, uh, observation of about 30 minutes uh, is required to look for the fetal movements uh, but one should try to see uh, the fetal movements and this is the respiratory movements again uh, here uh, we have tried to record the fetal uh, heart rate again and here we see that the fetal heart rate is 150 beats per minute if the fetal heart rate is not increasing then uh, uh, and the baby is still we can try to um, dip the probe into the abdomen of the fetus as i just show you yes. by dipping movements the fetal movements uh, you can see that the fetal movements are very well seen here so there is no doubt that the fetal is mobile and is spontaneously moving limbs as well as the body and there is no uh, confusion in this patient that the manning score is pretty good you can see all four limbs moving spontaneously and uh, there is no confusion that uh, the baby is in a good condition this patient and the last parameter is the uh, last parameter is the measurement of the afi in case one segment uh, in one segment you see that the uh, afi length is Uh, the maximum depth of the fluid is more than two centimeters, and the score of two is given. If the in all four um, quadrants, the uh, total uh, and if, uh, if in all the four quadrants the uh, fluid depth depth is less than two centimeters, or the total depth is uh, total AFI is less than six, then the uh, baby is given a score of zero. And combined with all these parameters, you can calculate the Uh, the total manning score and uh, report it accordingly now i'm going to show you a clip of about 30, 38 weeks of uh, pregnancy where things are slightly difficult let's on move, move on to 36 weeks This is the fetus about 36 weeks of gestation, and you can see the respiratory movement. This is the diaphragm. This is the thorax, and the respiratory movement should be seen. And in this view, this is a oblique or sagittal view, where the ribs are also seen. And you can see that uh, the respiration, with the respiration, the diaphragm is moving. And this is the heart. Sometimes the heart movements are transmitted uh, to the abdomen, but here you can see the up and down movement, side to side movement of the diaphragm. And this, these are definitely the respiratory movements. And uh, as I suggested, that the respiratory movement, if it is uh, a episode of more than 20 seconds, and in 30 minutes, then it is to be taken as the uh, score of two. Uh, here, uh, it was a uh, pretty long time that we saw that the respiratory movements are well defined. And now we go on to the uh, AFI measurement. Here, the AFI is the one quarter. The AFI is uh, the one quarter. The depth of the fluid is 2.2, uh, 2.5 centimeters. and advanced gestation it might be difficult to find the uh, it might be difficult to find the uh, fluid so even if one quarter you find that the fluid depth is more than 2 cm then a score of uh, then a score of 2 uh, is assigned and the heart rate also uh, is uh, counted as i so showed to you sometimes we need we need to take the help of the uh, dipping method and you have to observe the heart rate with the body movements and this is the body movement you can see that the body of the fetus has moved and the body of the tone of the fetus is to be seen that the baby is extending the extending the abdomen and the back and then coming to the flex position or moving the moving the hands and the feet and then uh, rolling back to the back them to the normal position a small flicker of movements may not be important i hope uh, with this video you would be able to Uh, do the manning score calculation uh, though with experience you come to know whether this movement is important or not but this video is going to give you some insight 
in the measurement of manning score in patients thank you very much please subscribe to our channel please like our videos and share it to maximum of your friends so that large amount of people can be benefited thank you very much